Hi, this is Marcia from Road to Speech, and I am excited to be showing you how to edit your very own SLP planner. So when you download the planner product from my website or from Teachers Pay Teachers, you'll get two files. So the SLP planner and then the editable uh, PowerPoint version, so PDF and PowerPoint. And I recommend that you make a copy so um, Control or Command C, um, depending on which device you are on, so that you can have a version to fully edit and make your own, and then you'll still have the original to go back to in case something happens. So we will open up the planner and let's get started. So this is this shows everything that's included. So you have a lot of different planner options, different to-do lists, case load management tools, paperwork management, lesson plans, so all sorts of stuff. And you probably don't want all of that. Um, so I'll show you how we can kind of clean it up so you have your very own planner that has exactly what you want in it. So we will go, if you... Um, hold down the shift key and sh select shift. That will be a good shortcut for you to delete multiple slides so you can get exactly what you want. So we'll go ahead and delete the table of contents. And I print this um, back to front to back so that I am saving some paper and then it looks more like your fancy planner. So this will be the first page and then this will print on the back. So every odd number will be the front and every even number will be the back and so like for this cover page I don't want the calendar on the back so what I do is I go and insert a new slide and then you can do um, command or control a to select everything and you can go ahead and delete that and then so these calendars will be front and back and you might want to add things in if that doesn't look quite right to you. Um, so what I might do is um, I would maybe move things around just depending on how you want them. So then we're in the planner section and if you don't like how I um, label the different sections there are plenty of blank templates for you towards the end of the packet. And so we've got these and then you have if you hover over, there's there will be text boxes, and if, again, you use the Control or Command A, you can see all of the fields that are editable. So you can just click on one of those, so we'll deselect, and you can just start typing. And you can easily, so if you select it, you can change the font. And there are a lot of, like, I really like um, KG fonts, and you can go to defont.com to download it if you're not happy with the fonts that are um, that come with your PowerPoint program. And so you can change the size, you can change if it's bold, you can add bullets, you can do whatever you want if you want to have text built in. Um, like for the week at the glance it might be nice if there's stuff that you have if you have reoccurring to do's and every Monday you do X, Y, and Z, and every Tuesday you have A, B, C that you do. So this is nice if you want to have content um, added in. So if you don't like it, you can just delete it and then print it on a blank page. And so this circle was meant to put in the date, but you can also just print it in and or print it out and write it in when the planner is assembled. So you have a lot of different options. Um, so I like this one better, so I'll delete the other one, um, and I don't need these ones, so we can keep going and deleting. Um, so this is the weekly view, so you can keep going in, and you can keep going in to delete what you want. So this is the month at a glance, and I prefer a wider layout, so I am going to delete these. We don't need August or the blank template, so you can just keep going in to delete. And then the calendar is the same. You can type in your holidays or things if you want them pre-typed in. Um, and like school for me doesn't start until 
end of August, so I don't need July. So that's a great way to customize. Um, so you can move, you can drag and drop the pages around, you can add in your own text, you can change it, and again, Command A to see all of the fields that are editable. And um, it's really nice because you can really make it your own. And then another nice trick, if you want a quicker view, you can go down to the slide sorter view and it'll give you a quick at a glance view of everything that you have. And it makes it really nice to kind of get a broad overview of, well, I want this and this and not this. And um, I found that to be very helpful. And so, let's see, is there anything else that we should share? I think that covers it, but let me know if you have any questions. Um, oh, there is, so when you go to print, so you go file and then print, and you want to make sure that your output is color, because if you do grayscale, it grayscale or black and white it won't print the background so to make it easier for you to edit I inserted all of the like planner design elements as the background so make sure you click color output um, and then that should do it because I know some of you had a hard time getting the backgrounds to print but if you do that color output that should fix the problem and um, and then it'll depend on your printer, but to print, um, let's see, where was it? It'll be in here, so you'll do long edge binding to print front and back. And then um, if you take this to a printer, they can do that for you, um, and they could bind it, so there's lots of nice options there too. If you're not, if your printer if it's too difficult to figure out, I think that might be worth the investment so that you don't have to um, deal with that piece because that can make you pull your hair out if, um, yeah, maybe not worth it if just paying a couple dollars can fix it. So that's all that I have. Um, oh, except one more thing. So if there is a field, like if you really want to add a text box here, you can click, like we can add, um, we'll do a rounded if you want to add a label or something. So you can put this in here and then you can format it. You can make it white or you can change the colors and you can make lines on it too. So that, that's just another way to customize. You can create, I chose PowerPoint too because you can create your very own, you can really do everything that you want with it. So that's a nice little trick. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you enjoyed this planner and I will see you soon. Thanks.